Welcome back to Luke Lawson Plays. Today we're going into a little maze. What the H was that? I do know this game's gonna be a little strange, which means it's right up my alley because I'm totally normal. So we're gonna have a great time with it. And you know I love walking simulators. You just know I love walking around and scoping things out. And I like the beautiful sun and the outdoors. And I like to be able to just push a button and travel the world. Feel the rocks beneath my feet. See the stones laid out before me. Feels really nice to be out in the wilderness. With just you and me and the corn. A couple beautiful flowers. And since it's not cola, I don't have to worry about getting scared to death and peeing my pants. I'm tired of doing laundry. You've noticed that game's been missing for a while. This is going to be a suitable replacement because it's going to be fun. You see? We got corn. We got flowers. We got rocks. Something creepy did de definitely run off into the woods. Uh, we're going to just travel. It seems to be somewhat linear. We will follow a zip path into the maze. Now, imagine if you will that you are me and we wake up beautiful wilderness surrounded by corn the most amazing corn you've ever seen before we got a small fence a dirty path I see a silo in the distance and it beckons me and before us we see a barrel hello barrel looks like the water is that way mm, the way from whence we came uh, Like, my first thought is it's an eye bolt, but that is absolutely ginormous. Hmm. Looks like there is a house that way. What is this facility? When the pointing hand icon appears, you click the left mouse button to interact. Hmm. Well. You only get one opportunity to do things the first time. That's what I always say. This is a sliding panel. Oh. So there we can put a hand. There we can put a CD. And there we can put our DNA. Let's put our hand in there. Mm, nope. Let's put our DNA in there. Nope. Let's put our CDs in there. Looks like we'll have to come back to that. Well. We can't say we didn't try. Uh, I don't want to enter the pause menu. I want to traverse the field. Uh, dead end? I don't think we can like walk through it. No. No, that'd be too simple if you could just go straight on through to the other side. What is the path? Two paths diverged in a yellow wood. Sad I could not take them both. Ah, trickery. We've been bamboozled and the corn took us astray. Pressing Q does absolutely nothing. Well, let's find out. Huh. They weren't lying. I pressed it and you'll notice nothing happened. Someday we will come upon <gasps> a thing. Is that a sandwich an English muffin so we picked up the thing and the th it opened hmm we'll pick up a welcome letter anything in let's sh check the drawers <laughs> get it like like the pants like your drawers yeah you get it you get it uh-huh yeah, let's examine this English muffin. Hard as granite, this muffin is most definitely nowhere near fit for consumption, despite how much you try. All you've done is give yourself a headache. Hmm. Guess we can't... <gasps> I wonder if we can put it in the door. Um... I don't know. We do need a circular object. 
It seems a, a bit far-fetched to try to shove an English muffin in that doorway. So that path's to the windmill. What a beautiful little homestead we have here. They really maximized the usage of land for this corn farm. They just built it all the way up to the front porch. A welcome note. A note lazily scribbled including a stock greeting and encourages the reader to enjoy the complimentary snack on the desk. Notes to the reader to mine the boxes and also say open the big door and we'll probably say hello. We have one of 75 story items. That means that things are gonna get cool. We're gonna keep going. You know it's true. I don't... I, I'm done with my story item. Leave me alone. Mm hmm. What is, is that? A elevator or a box or a sign machine? I don't know. I don't know. What are those? I will give anybody in the comment section a Steam key to a very random game. It won't be. It won't be life changing, but it will be a game. If you put in the comment section what type of car this is modeled after. Looks like that has a little alien face on it, which I don't think that's entirely true. But yeah, if you can put in the comment section what this vehicle is modeled after, I will provide you a Steam key if you're correct, mind you. You can't just randomly say like, no red thing. But if you nail it, what this vehicle is modeled after, Steam key for you, the random game to your inventory just for the fun of it just you know just because I like that car and I have lots of memories in a vehicle similar to that and most of which probably could have killed me I was I don't I don't think there's ever a proper age to do anything reckless in a vehicle I was only a passenger I'm just gonna throw that out there right off the bat but I certainly didn't stop my friend from doing crazy things. My, look at this. Your head is large, sir. That's where you keep all your ideas. Um, a broken shovel handle. Hmm. So we can equip our English muffin, or we can equip our broken shovel handle. Things are already looking up for us. So we got a bunch of boxes there. We could go inside the house. Let's do it. Let's just go see what's inside the house. Let's go see. Mm-hmm. So... I won't even say I'm confused. There's nothing to be confused about. Like, we've literally just been walking, getting the lay of the land. But... I... When you see the place icon, you can use an item. Click the left mouse button to use an equipped item. The door is locked. What about if I use my English muffin? Can I shove a broken shovel handle inside the... Just break the glass. Breaking the glass and we're breaking the glass and we're... Not getting in there. Okay. Well. Not for lack of trying, we were unable to enter into the welcoming home. That welcome note is a bunch of bologna. Anything cool back here? Nope. And we've got to do something to move the boxes, I think. Mega oranges. The premium oranges. Mm-hmm. You know those are premium. Because it says so right on the box. 